Scarlet Pete testing the LK1500. Here we are. I was just went to a local uh, shop to check it out and saw this machine. Thought I'd give it a little go because I've never ever owned one and tell you exactly how I feel about it. I just did a basic e wrap. It's quite a plastic, lightweight machine. The tension springs on the top I felt weren't very efficient, but we'll tighten them up on the top and see how it goes. It operates similar to a normal knitting machine and I was amazed how sticky and jammy it felt to drive it, <laughs> to run the carriage across. It really was not a smooth operation and, and my second surprise is coming up now. Sorry about the shaky camera. It doesn't like to machine knit without weights. You, you can't, you've got to use weights. So throw the work off and start again. The needles felt horrible to handle, wobbly and horrible and plasticky. Done another e-wrap and this time we've got quite a substantial mm -hmm. weight on there. It's quite a nice little claw weight, about cast on comb more like. Just struggling to do it one handed and keep the camera still for you guys. So once I got it going, it still doesn't knit nicely. It's a bit jerky. Those are the tools that came with it. And the needles to pull out and push back in were actually lighter than a normal machine, I'd say. So I just did one fully fashioned decrease just to test it. It wasn't stable on the table. It was just the table wanted to move. I had to keep the table still with my foot as well. There's no sinker plates on the front. I just set it to hold holding position now, which is the same as any normal knitting machine. Um, there's no sinker plates on the front, so that's just the carriage is as is. I think it had a second place to put in a second colour. I didn't didn't bother looking to try to do that. It was just more about seeing how it felt, and honestly, I didn't like it. It really struggled, and this was quite a lightweight yarn. I'm sure it's capable of knitting thicker yarn. Um, it is very basic, but I think very plasticky, very at risk of breaking. You wouldn't want to knock it, damage it or no. It's not for me because I've always knitted with metal machines. So we've just about completed the shaping with the holding position. I'm going to undo the holding position. And as you can see, you can see the jerkiness. It just isn't refined. It doesn't have a nice feel to it. So basically, I'm telling you, I wouldn't buy it. I don't like it. But some people swear by them and absolutely love them. I wouldn't go down from the machines I have to buy this. And the biggest shock for me is about to come along now in a second. Wait for it, gang. The price. £430 and a table, £79. Oh my goodness. There you go. Hope you enjoyed my review. Like, subscribe, share. Give me a comment so I know you're there. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.